You know what all these people have in common? They all keep one of these. And this is a video about why maybe you should try it too. So I'm the broadcast teacher here at North. Test one, two. And for the last couple of weeks, I've been talking to all these people. And for the last couple of years, I've been talking to all of these people. I ask them all about their process, like what they do, how they do it, and how it helps them. That's it. Done. So I kind of like would mark like if there's like a political... Some of them say it helps them to clear their minds or helps them to relax. Others use it for project management, keeping track of ideas, planning out complex projects, all kinds of things. I'm not exaggerating when I say it seems to be one of the most versatile tools available. If you look at the research about journaling, you find a lot of the same things again and again and again, like how journaling helps you think better or more clearly, how it helps you generate new ideas and organize your existing ideas. Journaling can also help with a bunch of mental health issues like stress, anxiety, and depression. These are real benefits, and they all come from this. If you're going to try this out, you want to be successful. So let me give you three tips to help you out. First, journaling takes practice and effort. It'd be nice if your journal would send you reminders, but it doesn't. It just sits there. So set aside some time each day, maybe just a few minutes at first. Choose a time when you're likely to actually do it. Set yourself up for success and stick with it. Don't give up. Tip number two, there's no right way to do it. Have you ever looked at journals on Instagram? If you have, you might think that proper journaling entails pretty lettering, cute animal stickers, and pictures of K-pop stars. But that's not what my journal looks like. And yours may look like this or this or like this. And that's fine. Don't let all these people dictate how you keep a journal. Which brings me to tip number three, which is that journaling is for you and only for you. See all these people? They don't really care what you think about what's in their journal. And you shouldn't care what other people think about what's in your journal. That's how it works. One student I talked to said that her journal is an extension of her mind. And that's a great way to think about it. It's a place for you to exercise all the things your mind can do. Because you only have the one you were born with. And a journal is a great way to learn how to use it better. That's something I heard again and again and again from all these people all across the years. They want you to know that keeping a journal is awesome, and they think maybe you should try it too.